Okay, so for this problem is pretty difficult, all right? And the reason why this problem is going to be so difficult is, so far when we've been doing rate of change, I told you what the x's were and I told you what the y's were, right? Yes. So it was pretty easy just to plug something into an equation and say, hey, the change in y is the difference of my y values, and the change of x was the difference of my x values, right? Yeah. Well, here's a word problem where I don't tell you what x's and y's are. So we need to go back to our understanding of what rate of change is. Remember, rate of change is a change in your y values, which is your dependent values, over the change in the x values, which are your independent values. So let me read this problem out loud. Let's see if we can actually understand what is going to be independent, what's going to be dependent. So it says, in 2003, uh, federal vehicle emission standards allowed four hydrocarbons released per mile driven. By 2007, the standards allowed only two hydrocarbons per mile driven. What was the rate of change from 2003 to 2007? All right now, you have years, right? And you guys should always think about this. Whenever you're given years, do the years depend on really anything? No, no right? I mean, you guys gotta think about this. If it's 2003, you know the next year is gonna be 2004, right? So 2004 does not depend on how many hydrocarbons um, were allowed. It's going to be 2004. So then the next year is going to be 2005. It has no bearing on how many hydrocarbons are allowed or are not allowed, right? Because the next year is always going to come after the previous year, right? So years do not depend on anybody. So therefore, what I can say is my years are my dependent variable. And dependent is our what? I'm sorry, years are our independent variable, right? So therefore, x is going to be the years, all right? Because they are independent. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what's going on in each year. Each year is gonna happen one after another. So it doesn't matter how many hydrocarbons are allowed or disallowed, at your year is always gonna come next. So your years are independent. So therefore, my y is the number of hydrocarbons allowed. And when you guys are doing these, remember when we have word problems, you have to make sure, um, you guys have to make sure that you write out, you guys have to make sure that you write out what your variables are. And these aren't really any variables, but you guys should understand what your, your independent and your dependent variables are, or values at least here are. So therefore, my change in Y is my number of hydrocarbons. So what I have is from 2003 to 2007, right? So for 2003 to 2007, that was the number of years. So really what we're going to have is we're going to have hydrocarbons. So we're going to have the change. So we're going to have the change in hydrocarbons over the change in years. All right? So what was the change in the hydrocarbons? From 2003 to 2007, how many did we, what did we change? First we had um, two. In, in 2003, federal emission standards allowed four. Then by 2007, they only allowed two. So did we go up or did we go down? No. We went down, right? They started releasing less. So therefore, it's going to be a negative, right? Because they're allowing us, to, they're reducing two less than the, than the four years before. And then from the years, from 2003 to 2007, how many years did we change? Four. four. So you can you change years would be four. So therefore, I can reduce my rate of change to equal negative one half. Do you see why I put the negative and why I put them that way around though? That's good. Does anybody have else any other questions? Just be careful when you're doing the word problems and years are always going to be independent. So years will always be independent. But when you guys are looking at these, just always try to um, just try to focus on, you know, is it going up or is it going down to determine if you're negative and what's going to be your independent or your dependent. Alright? So that's how you do that problem. Woo! Whoa! Yeah.